Now that the governor is requiring proof of a vaccination for all state employees and workers at hospitals and healthcare facilities or weekly COVID-19 testing, many are asking, number one, is that legal? And can an employer require a worker to get vaccinated to be employed? or to be employed, and what about a business owner saying, hey, you can't come into my shop if you don't have a vaccination card or maybe a test result? Well, let's talk to legal analyst Dan Eaton. Joins us now to talk about some of these answers. Dan, nice haircut, looking very sharp, my friend. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy. All right, so let's talk about, let, let's get this one out of the way. Can an employer require an employee to get vaccinated to stay employed? Yeah, the answer is a qualified yes. Uh, if it's a private non-union California employer, uh, they can uh, the employer can uh, require uh, the employees to get vaccinated by one of the FDA emergency use approved subject to understand uh, accommodations for medical conditions, disabilities uh, or religious uh, bona fide religious objections, as Hunter said at the top of the hour. So you said private non-union. Does that mean if it's public or if it's union, then there might be a wrinkle there? What I'm, you're exactly right, Logan. There may be a, a wrinkle. When you're talking about union, it's probably a change in the terms and conditions of employment, which means they'd have to negotiate about it. If it's public, there are constitutional issues uh, that are at play. So my analysis for our purposes is limited to the private at-will uh, California employment setting, which is where, uh, where most of us uh, work. So when the governor said that you've got to get a vaccine if you work for the state or you can take a test every week, did that take a test every week kind of get him out of that problematic situation? It does, Logan, in some ways, because it's important to realize that it's not all or nothing, that you can have this issue where even if they don't fall into one of these protected groups like disability or medical condition, you can, in fact, if you don't want to make it, well, you're going to be fired, you can say, we'll get weekly COVID tests. I bet you've probably had a COVID test, and those are really uncomfortable. I just had one, I think it was last week. And uh, the, the fact is, but I am fully vaccinated, just for the record. Uh, but uh, so the idea is this is to encourage more. Look, the incentives are not working, apparently. We're not getting to the level we need to. In the meantime, we have a Delta a variant that is rampaging. So uh, the feeling is that more and more employers are going to start swapping the carrot for the stick and start mandating vaccination. And they have the legal right to do that, whether there's emergency use or full approval, which is expected in a few weeks. Is there a difference between state, local governments, federal governments, or is it all just that's, that's government and it doesn't matter much? Well, the constitutional issues are essentially going to be the same because it's the same kind of constitutional consideration. And if you're talking about a union workforce, you're talking about similar issues as well. And I know you want to talk about restaurant conditioning as well. Uh, do you want me to talk about that now? Yeah. You mean like, am, am I allowed to go, is a, is, a, is a restaurant owner allowed to say, you're not allowed to come in here unless you've been vaccinated or you've got a negative test? And the answer to that is yes, again, subject to the same kind of accommodations, although it's hard to see how they get you through the door and figure out whether you have a bona fide religious objection, a medical condition or a disability and so forth. But yes, we're all familiar with the signs, no shoes, no shirts, no service, and increasingly no mask. And no vaccination, uh, no service is, uh, is an appropriate condition. That You can put those kinds of limitations on patronage. So the governor is asking private businesses to follow suit and require people to get vaccinated. Can the, can the governor require the private businesses to require vaccinations? Not absent legislation. We're all talking about cheerleading at this point. Look, for a long time, as the Wall Street Journal reported on January 25th, businesses were put in the position of vaccine cheerleaders. That was the phrase that the Wall Street Journal used. But the cheerleading isn't working. And you've got to swap the cheerleader for the drill sergeant at this point in order to get the kind of broad compliance necessary for us to get past this nightmare. So the governor can say what he wants as far as that goes, but absent legislation that requires all citizens who are eligible subject to these conditions for medical conditions and disability and religious objections, uh, you're not going to see a government-imposed mandate. What he wants is private employers to use their right to require vaccination, to exercise that right so that we can get closer to getting past this. You hear people talking about freedom of choice. If they don't want to go get a vaccine for whatever reason, they shouldn't have to go get one. And I guess they don't have to. But you start shutting them out from restaurants and you start shutting them out from employment and you start shutting them out from all kinds of other things. It almost starts to sound like, well, you really don't have a freedom of choice. 
Well, you do in that sense. And it's important to understand that while you do have the freedom of choice not to get vaccinated, and that'll be true even when these vaccines are fully approved, you don't have the freedom of choice to work for an employer that requires vaccination or to eat in a restaurant that requires vaccination. The employer and the restaurant have a freedom of choice too. And while you're correct that if you have this broad adoption by employers and restaurants, you're going to shut a lot of people out, that's the consequence of a choice. A choices do not give you the right to patronize a restaurant that is going to require vaccination for uh, public health uh, reasons, and it's not going to give you the right to work for an employer that, for the same kinds of reasons, places conditions on employment by requiring uh, vaccination. All right, Dan Eaton, providing us all the insight we need. Appreciate it, Dan. Good to see you as always, buddy. Good to be with you, man. All right.